The hours turn into days and days turn into weeks. Dreaming of better days when worlds fell over shape. Oh, oh, sometimes I'm caught between the rocks. Six months later, the baby was dead. But I'll get back to that in a moment. First of all, I want to tell you about my days at the Algonquin. You do know of the round table, don't you? Mm -hmm. You gotta tell me. So, as we speak, Leo is reading my script. With DiCaprio? Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Wow, that's I'm, awesome. No, I'm super excited oh, about it. You should be. That's fucking great. I'm thrilled for you, man. Hey, get this. Agent just called. Tom Hardy showing serious interest in my play. The transsexual gymnast thing. No, 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 no. The train conductor one. You know where he has the nervous breakdown because of the derailment. Oh, of course. It's a masterpiece. Oh, no wonder Hardy flipped for it. He'd be lucky to get such a great part. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I guess he wants to return to the stage, you know, show people where he came from, that he's got the chops. Oh, that is so, so great. I'm so proud of you. And you were going to quit. No, no, I was not. I'm an artist. What can you do, you know? We're <laughs> artists. It's a curse. It is a curse. Coffee, Coffee black. black. Man, Leo, you're on fire. <laughs> you're on fire, Tom Hardy. Burning this motherfucking town down. Burning it down. In, In fuego. That'll be four dollars. You got this? I'm a little tight right now. Nope. Can't do it. I left my wallet at home. Seriously? Again? In fuego. On fire. Need a match. You know. I like Leo for the project. Mm -hmm. I do, but I love Christian Bale. Way ahead of you, pal. It's different. Nowadays, compared to before, I mean for female writers, you see. In fact, we were better off then. I mean, yeah, Lily Hellman, of course, and uh, Sylvie Plath, of course, and Dottie <laughs> Parker, of course. Mm -hmm. The vituperative nature of what the author was trying to say was clear. Oh, no, 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 I disagree. That was a distinct example of the kind of solipsistic direct one would expect from an inarticulate Neanderthal posing as a literary icon. Well, <laughs> once again, you've missed the point completely. It was a scathing commentary, an indictment, if you will, of... of uh, I have not missed the point at all. In fact, reading this was an exercise, not only in futility, not only in drudgery, not only in enmity, but it was stupid. Simply because you can't wrap your overly developed sense of elitism around a higher concept does not mean that the author was not showing Wait, well, us. Did you say concept? Because there was not a modicum of concept, high or low, anywhere in the vicinity of that thing. And if you think there was, maybe you should go hunt for the holy grail because you can find the unfindable. That was witty. Are you finished with this? No, 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 it's all yours. Can you get us some water? Please? Sure. God, I've missed you. Right. Why can't you do this just for me? This is for you. For us. All of this is for you. Wait a minute, you just don't like my mom. What? That is so... It's just not true. What? I have no problem with your mom. You are so lying right now. So now you're calling me a liar? Well... Why would I have a problem with your mom? Well, because she calls you a marginally talented, out-of-work opportunist, desperately clinging to whatever little hope there is left of your career yeah, as I mean, a no, writer, love about her. as well as her daughter's financial nipple. You know what? I don't like your mom. I don't like your dad. And right now, I'm not too fucking fond of her daughter. Or their daughter's nipple. Financial or otherwise. Hey, Hemingway, you want to pay the check before you take your sweeping exit? Sorry. It's fine. He's he's just stressed and I'm ouch. What was my point again? The dead baby. <gasps> yes. Tragic. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> but oh, first of all, I want, I want to tell you about Bertrand. You do remember Bertrand, don't you? Of course, he's, I mean, he's an old curmudgeon now, but you should have seen him back then, gallivanting <laughs> around town. Convertible top down, thick, flowing hair. Oh, he cut quite a figure back then. It's charming, swarthy good looks. He was what movies were written for. This is the place where I've seen everything.